they could clean sweep the series the first time ever. And Meebling will play it for Queensland now. Kineshku dummy half. Comes out almost to Testman, but it goes on to Jones. Jones just takes play outside the 22. Back for the kick, Mal Meninga drives the ball downfield. Gary Jack, well positioned, but it might be. Jack, it does too. So first blood to Queensland, they find the line with a good kick from Mal Meninga. Jack Gibson, a lot of stake in this match tonight. It's more than a prize for, for winning this. It's a trip across to, Taz, uh, to New Zealand, rather, that they're going to want to establish themselves for. Sterling to feed for New South Wales. Of course, Australia play New Zealand on Sunday. You'll see that on Nines by Bottle Sports as Gary Jack makes a little bust, but uh, good defence brings him down centre field. A midway between the quarter and a half now. Kenny, Kenny swings one out wide, and there's a big tackle from Queensland. Wrapped up, ball and all. Pierce plays it back. Comes back to Tunks. Tunks straightens up the attack, but there's plenty of Maroon defenders to belt him down too. Play hasn't gone a metre. New South Wales bottle up at the moment. Roach has a run. He's been in fine form in this series. But this defence from Queensland, pretty serious at the moment. Back it comes to Sterling. Good kick from Sterling. He gets it down and uh, this takes it well now. Runs round Belcher and straightens up the attack. And he's tackled midway or probably about 32 metres out from the Queensland line. Kineskew. Little run from dummy half, just settling the play down. Queensland a little bit slow to get back on side. Now they're, they're back and well positioned. Brad Tessman, the eastern suburbs player that's been called up now as it comes out. Lewis puts a ball up for Meninga. Meninga looked to unload, turns it back inside very quickly for Bobby Linder. Linder with a nice pass out. That's Kiss with a bit of room to move now. Oh, a great tackle from Jack, but he gets out of that tackle. Bounces up, he's still going inside the 22. Yes, and that's a good run from West Kiss, the North Sydney boy, playing for Queensland tonight. Queensland on the attack now with a chance. And it comes to Lewis, a long, huge pass out. And they've got the numbers outside. Shearer, Shearer heading for the line. And fourth down, a finish in. Shearer's brought in. And that's a great play for Queensland. Started off a pass for Molly Lewis. That was a giant one. Oh, what a start for Queensland. Watch this pass from Wally Lewis. One, two, three, four players it cuts out. Goes to Miles. Miles gets it on to Meninga. Meninga out to Shearer. Shearer puts on the pace. There was Kenny to get him. But no, he's through. A growth tackle to and over. Well, Brad fished him at Shearer scores first by Jack Gibson. Good try. Excellent try too. They've done more than a try damage. They've got Jack down on the ground and he doesn't look too healthy. So, Queensland take first blood. We'll take a break and be back at Lang Park Live in just a moment. Back live now to Lang Park. O'Connor has just kicked off for New South Wales. Mal Meninga was unsuccessful with that conversion attempt, so the score remains. Queensland 4, New South Wales nil. Kineski now takes it up. Tackled by Roach and Cleal. Now, there were five missed tackles in that passage of play that led to that try. Jack, pretty sloppy stuff from New South Wales, but great attack from Queensland. Well, Brett Kenny had him at one stage of it, but he went up high to try and uh, stop him passing the football, but he had enough momentum to carry himself across. He forgot about that. Brian Johnson, the man called in the St George player, called into the New South Wales side with his first touch now. Back it comes to O'Connor. O'Connor just inside Queensland's half. Play it back to Stephen, folks out to Sterling, on to Kenny, Kenny on to Crusher Cleal. Cleal looking to unload, he does, he pops it out the back door to Kenny, goes on to Grove, the express train winds up and gets back to halfway. So New South Wales actually lost a metre in that movement. Still a uh, just make take play now into the Queensland half. Folks, plays it back to Simmons now, out to Sterling, on to Big Roach, Roach winds up. We're about eight metres inside Queensland Territory now. Noel Cleal, dummy half, comes out to Sterling. He'll kick. Fairly deep kick, too, from Sterling. He gets the bounce, but it's uh, bouncing in the in goal area. And they've managed to run it out. And they've let play go. They do some fancy footwork there to stay inside. Mal Meninga bringing it out. Liam Maurice, there was a bit of fancy dancing there to stay in, in, inside the uh, field of play. I think there were a few people here, Daryl, that thought he went out too. I certainly did. Nevertheless, the uh, action continues and New South Wales putting in some pretty heavy tackles on Queensland who are trapped in their own quarter now as Jones tries to bring the, the ball out. It's four points to nothing. Queensland leading as New South Wales pick it up via Roach. 
Out across the back line, picked up by Kenny. Kenny thought he saw a gap, tried to go through it. He's caught just outside the corner. The action coming thick and fast as it's a lot cross with Sterling. Running off him was Mortimer. The defense moving up very quickly though. Murray was there to take him. Now it's Simmons getting a pass, pass away to uh, Roach. 30 meters out from the Queensland line. Simmons from dummy half. A oh, good little pass from Simmons too. Found folks running onto it. And now New South Wales are only 11 meters out. Smart work from uh, the hooker for New South Wales, Roy Simmons. Sterling, blindside. A long pass for Jack. Caught though. New South, New South Wales just 8 meters out. Last tackle signal. Sterling has it. The kick in the air. Plenty of blue jumpers chasing it up. They go. Anybody's ball. It's loose. Who has it? Queensland come up with it. Good play from Queensland as Limna has it. They did well to uh, get that ball away from the New South Wales players who are really charging through after it. Now, Miles, Miles, a one-handed pass away to Liebling. Liebling running strongly up towards the halfway mark. And in two plays, Queensland have brought play from their own line up to the halfway. Here's Murray on the loose, back inside for um, Tesman. Now it's with um, who, Tesman who has it on the halfway mark. And, the Queensland fans don't like these heavy tackles from New South Wales. Meninga, across now to Kiss. Very elusive, this fellow. And Kiss has it just inside the New South Wales half. Belcher, eight metres inside New South Wales territory. Queensland four to nothing with Murray. And Murray's kick has found touch. Can't fault that. Fine kick from the halfback. Found touch just inside the New South Wales quarter. And you can see the respective weights of the pack. Queensland 10 kilos heavier than New South Wales. Now this scum will be fed by Sterling of course. It's gone with the feed. But the referee Roberts allows it to go on. Now Johnson in centre field. The defence is there to meet him. Meninga has him. Simmons dummy half to Kenny. Well, Queensland defence very quick to move up and grab these New South Wales players. Here's Tunks running strongly. Takes play outside his own quarter. Simmons back to Mortimer for the kick. Waiting for the kick though is Kiss and Belcher. Kiss has it, just inside his own quarter. And Kiss caught by Cleal, got it back to Lewis though, and Lewis is quickly caught by the New South Wales defence. Lewis will play it, 30 metres out from his own line. Kineski dummy half to Linda. Queensland fans calling New South Wales to get onside. The penalty's gone to Queensland. And it's not for being offside, it's for reefing the ball out of the Queensland players' hands. I will call the play it. Put down here by uh, Folks. And uh, the penalty to Queensland. Now Lewis will try and find touch. And he's found it. Nine metres inside the New South Wales half. Queensland lead four points to nothing. Murray will take the uh, free kick. We are running around and finally with Jones. He straightens it and now uh, plays it. Neebling has it. You saw that Queensland was 10 kilos heavier in the forwards and you can see considerably heavier in the backs. Now play 32 metres out from the New South Wales line. With Lewis, the run around with Kinescu and Jones straightening the attack, running onto the ball strongly. Just outside the quarter. Cross with Lewis. A floater again for Miles. And then on the Belcher. Belcher with the clear. He's got support. Belcher for the line. And Belcher's there. Is he there? Yes, he is. Referee Roberts to watch the play. Please land it for a second. A very strong start from Queensland. Watch it with us. There was a pass again from Lewis. And Belcher into the gap, running strongly for the corner. Perth tried to take him. Jack came across in cover. But again, the momentum was there. 
And although referee Roberts took a little while, he awarded the try. Jack Gibson. We certainly awarded the try here, but again, everything happens off Lewis. What New South Wales at about half their defensive side on the other side of the football. Paddy Gid Lewis lined up, ready to attack, and they never adjusted. So they got a little overlap there with a good player like Belcher. He just travelled upstream and then he went. 8 0, Queensland lead back in a minute. Once, it, once again, the conversion from Mal Meninga, unsuccessful score remains 8 0. O'Connor's just kicked off for New South Wales. Interesting to note now, there's been 17 tries scored in this series. Terry Lamb is coming on for New South Wales. Growth has gone off. Eric Growth has gone off and uh, Terry Lamb is on. Growth's knee obviously has given way again. I'd say it was on that uh, attempted tackle. There he is going off. The big fellow would be very, very disappointed with that. OK, come back to the football. Meninga now, the clearing kick. Gary Jack right underneath it. Takes it cleanly, Jack. Ringed. Murray takes him with a good tackle too. And that brings the crowd alive here. As I was saying, 17 tries have been scored in this series. At Lang Park, New South Wales scored four against Queensland's two tries in the first encounter at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Nine tries. Five went to New South Wales and four to uh, Queensland. So plenty of action in this series so far. And already Queensland have scored two tonight. Score again, 8-0. New South Wales with the ball. Goes out to Sterling. Sterling flicks a, a quick ball out, but it's just being uh, mishandled by New South Wales. Darryl. Terry Lamb has come into 5'8 because of that man there. Eric Groth is in a lot of pain. There he is in the uh, the dressing room. Terry Lamb at 5'8. Brent Kenny in the centre. Mortimer on the wing. OK, thanks, Ian. Well, Groth would be most disappointed. He really uh, said to me in an interview the other day that he wanted to have a big game tonight to show uh, faith in the selectors that have given faith in him. And that's a, a penalty for uh, Peter Cross in the scrum and it's gone to New South Wales. So, big Eric Groth. He's had no luck in the last couple of seasons, Jack Gibson. Well, they've got Lamb back in there. I think Lamb should have been in there somewhere to start with. But all in all, it's a tragedy that Eric's gone, but he's gone, and we play the cards you dealt. So. Right, here's the tap now, as Roach runs it up for New South Wales. Plays it back to Folks with the ball now. That was a pretty big hit on Folks. He goes down pretty, pretty hard, but he's tough, this Folks. Cleal is a dummy. Simmons dances around, doesn't go anywhere. And New South Wales at the moment seem to be bogged down their own territory, going one out. Sterling calls for it now. They're nice and deep, New South Wales. A small kick in there, and that's driven the ball down toward the Queensland try line. Taken by Belcher. He gets a step going. Wrapped up by Mortimer. About five metres out from the Queensland try line. Wally Lewis, a dummy half. Comes out the other way to Mal Meninga. The big fellow winds up, but there's too much defence there. 10 metres out now from the line, Queensland. Jones. Did you speak this Jones? There's plenty of him, and he's been hurt too. He's been hurt, tackled by Roach, and uh, Roach quietly walks back on side, and Jones is still there. Out comes the mouth guard. Here's the incident now. Here's the run. There's the, the tackle. We'll just wait and see. Nothing much that we can see in that replay but Jones in a fair bit of uh, trouble at the moment gets to his feet now North Sydney player playing for Queensland tonight Lewis now drives the ball downfield New South Wales take it through O'Connor that's the halfway line you can see and he's uh, just short by about three metres Back to Mortimer. Mortimer to Sterling. Sterling out to Kenny. Kenny gets it out to Lamb. Lamb puts the pace on. Linner over the top, but Lamb up again very quickly. Still going. Lamb, pretty determined run from uh, Terry Lamb. Back it comes to Price. Price gets it on the folks. They're working play back into the centre of the field now. Simmons dummy half. The big man winding up deep. Goes out to Roach. Runs hard, Roach, and uh, tries to slip one out, but can't. Roach and Tessman having a few words, just discussing the weather, and there's a knock on from Kenny, which you don't see too often. Bad pass right at his feet. Tried to scoop it up and couldn't. It's the pass again. Kenny did everything he could to pick it up cleanly. This forces a scrum midway between the half and quarter. Queensland's end of the ground. Queensland feed. There's a blind side look at that scrum feed for you. 
as Belcher has joined into the, the back line. Game started at a pretty fierce pace. It slowed down a little now as Miles has a bustling run by Chief Big and Strong as Miles. He makes three or four metres but really bustles his way every time he gets the, the ball. On do they come up. And there's uh, Noel Cleeler stolen the ball for New South Wales and they make a right up toward the 22 now. Noel Cleeler will play it back to Kenny. New South Wales deep now. Sterling. Out it comes through Folks. Goes on to Lamb. To Mortimer. On to Jack. Looking for Johnston, they find Johnston, he's tackled inside the 22. New South Wales prepared to use the back line. Chris Mortimer, his dummy half, he'll play it out to Sterling. On to Pierce, Pierce straightens it up, just inside the 22. So they've made, again, no ground in that run. Folks, dummy half, he goes from there. Two or three metres now, 18 metres out from the Queensland line. Sterling, Sterling gets it out to Mortimer. Mortimer, the little chip over the top. Belcher waiting for it, up he goes and takes it cleanly too. And Ian Maurice, the game has slowed down quite a lot in the last four or five minutes. It's in the water, wouldn't it? Started off at a hectic pace, but the interesting thing now is with Eric Groth leaving the field, we now have uh, the situation where we have a problem with our wing spots for this Australian team, which is picked after this game tonight. The wing spot, Jack Gibson, is one of the contentious points, as is the 5-8 spot. We now have Brett Kenny playing in the centre. The Sterling-Kenny combination is split up. Will they pick uh, Wally Lewis there tonight? Well, I, I, I think they were going to pick him there, whoever was healthy. As he's got more respect than the Cabbage Patch doll up here, and they're going to get somebody in. OK, Queensland still on the attack now, and goodness, they aren't they playing well? That was Cavill Hugh made the good run, and backing him up was Mark Murray. The Queensland making inroads into this New South Wales defence and they got another penalty then as Brett Kenny wouldn't let him play the ball. Well, New South Wales doing plenty of things wrong and Queensland doing plenty of things right. This is Murray trying to get to his feet. Kenny was there and Kenny penalised for uh, throwing the, or getting the ball out of his hands. So we're back with Meninga who will have a shot for goal. 37 metres out from the uh, New South Wales line and he's about 15, 18 metres in from touch. Queensland player down in back play receiving attention. Brad Tessman is down. But again with uh, getting back to that growth situation as uh, Meninga comes in with a kick, oh it's an awful kick, just awful. Picked up by Gary Jack. Jack brings the play out to the corner line before he's put down. But again, Jack Gibson, we have that wing situation with the, the wing situation pretty skinny. Well, it might be skinny here tonight, but there's some plenty of great wingers in Sydney too, I think. I don't know why they've uh, banned and always hasn't been too healthy, the uh, Canberra boy. Well, they picked the Australian team tonight right after this match. And that's what these fellows are playing for. There's New South Wales now, trailing by eight points to nil, and Mortimer trying to kick out of trouble. Kiss doesn't take it cleanly, but Belcher is there to pick up the dregs. Running around in circles, but finally put down. New South Wales revamping their back line. We now have O'Connor out on the wing. As uh, Kiss takes play up centre field. Yes, O'Connor out on the wing. And Mortimer in the centre with uh, Brett Kenny and Terry Lamb at 5'8". Now here's Jones. Out of one. Still going. Jones playing strongly. Eight metres inside Queensland Territory. Murray to Lewis. And then to Miles again. Miles running strongly. That one-handed pass for Canescu. Here's Lewis again. Lewis gets it away. And Lewis up into pretty late too, I thought. Play on, said the referee, as Murray will play it right on the halfway mark. And Q across to Meninga. Gary Jack has some work to do as Meninga's kick bounces in the in-goal area. Jack has it without too much pressure. Lindner is with him, Meninga are chasing him, but Jack's away from Meninga. Linking up with him is O'Connor. And O'Connor short of the quarter line before he's put down. Brad Tessman hurt in that tackle. Uh, very shakily. Now here's Simmons. New South Wales pinned in their own quarter. Cross to Terry Lamb. If you just joined us, Terry Lamb on to replace Eric Groth who's injured. And that's a fine kick from Lamb. Oh, I thought it was, but it's, it's down a left-hand turn. How did that not go out? Belcher picks it up and put down inside New South Wales territory. Gee, you'd have bet all the money in the world that kick was going out. 
Now here's Kiss again from dummy half, out of one, caught by Kenny. And Crusher clear over the top. Lewis. Meninga. Short ball for Miles. Miles up into 10 metres inside New South Wales Territory. Queensland lead by eight points to nil. Meninga blindside. Makes a few more metres before the defence gets to him. Canescu across to Murray. And then to Linda. And Linda's put down 32 metres out from the New South Wales line. Last tackle signal by referee Roberts. Blindside goes Lewis. Linking up with him was uh, Miles. The pass has been knocked down in six seconds to go. He's going to score. Three times to Queensland. Call it lucky if you like, but the points are on the board. That sign says it all. Greg Canescu. They call him the turtle. Here's how it happened. It was Lewis running blindside. The pass went to Miles, that pass was knocked down by one of the New South Wales players, picked up by Shearer, given straight away to Kineskew, and the Queensland hooker in to score, that's a fair try. Now, was the last tackle play, New South Wales read that uh, Lewis is going to run it, he decided to, uh, to kick it rather, he decided to run it. The intensity dropped off, the, the fumble from New South Wales, and then they went. Well, it's Les Kiss who's uh, replaced Mal Meninga as kicker. Meninga's put in three shockers. And Les Kiss, who's a handy short distance kicker for North Sydney, has his first opportunity to uh, kick for Queensland. Relatively simple kick for him. And he's missed it too. So it remains 12 to nothing. Queensland over New South Wales. We have 16 minutes of play remaining in the first half, Darrell. New South Wales have missed 11 tackles and by G they were really getting a roaring behind the line. There's another replacement coming on. That's French. French is on for Queensland. We'll just see who's gone off. Tessman is off. Brad Tessman has gone off and French is on. So we made mention through the week that both sides were badly battered and bruised and New South Wales have kicked it out. Queensland have kicked it out, I'm sorry. So we'll have a scrum now, which is 10 metres out from the line. But both sides uh, were very ginger at training with a lot of bruises and aches and pains. And Queensland win the ball too. Right, let's come back to that. And they make another break. Now it comes to Meninga, a quick ball out to Chris. He's got some pace, Chris. Puts it in the gear now. They come across a good cover defence from uh, Pierce. Brings him down. Player back to French, a replacement player on for Tessman. He's tackle inside the New South Wales half. Well, this Queensland side playing with so much purpose tonight. Lewis, the man has directed traffic so far. Gets it on the miles. He's caused plenty of headaches too. Loose pass this time though. Goes back and Shearer has dived on it. I don't know where he's come from. He's a back to Canescu. And up they run again and this time it's Niebling. And New South Wales have to get their mind back on the jobs as uh, Miles takes it up for another run of four or five hard metres. Last tackle for Queensland, Kineskew dummy half, it'll come out to Lewis, there it is, Lewis decides to run it again, it goes to Murray, this time a little chip from Murray, he regathers the ball, to him, the ball out, but Bobby Linda, they can't take it, Gary Jack's on the ball, so New South Wales, turn the bench into attack, they get out there to Kenny, gets one right corner, and then it's streaking down, he'll get there, and then the bench is coming across, but New South Wales have scored their first try, and that's a length of the field, and that's a ripper! Oh, a gunner in of a great Brett Kenny pass. Well, one minute they were defending and then they were on the attack and this is how it started. There's the, there's the uh, little chip from Murray now. He took it well. The tackle from Sterling went to Linnery, couldn't handle it. Gary Jack came onto the ball now. now Gary Jack slipped a long flatter out for Brett Kenny. He got it onto O'Connor. O'Connor put it into top gear and got the afterburner going and went the length of the field to score a try with plenty of defence chasing him. But he burned the turf. Okay. Well, we're trying to find out who's going to have a kick here. We have, the, we have the ball there, and it's uh, going to be right in front, but there's a uh, 
plenty of injury problem at the moment. Wayne Pierce has had the, the trainer out there looking at him. And here's O'Connor now. O'Connor's going to try and convert his own try. There's another player being spoken to by a trainer. That's Bobby Linder. He's obviously hurt when he got crunched trying to take that pass. All right, let's have a, a look at this try again. Now, there's the tackle on Linder. Here's Gary Jack with the ball. Gary Jack now floats it out for Ketty. Look at O'Connor coming around for the, to make the extra man out wide. The defence chased him, but no way they're going to get O'Connor. He just flew up the turf, and that was a sensational try for New South Wales. Now, he'll try and convert this try. He's right in front. Scoreline 12-4, so pretty important kick. He's kicked plenty from here, O'Connor. Crowd really giving the old Lang Park roar, but it's no problem for O'Connor. So that makes it 12 points to six. New South Wales trailing Queensland. Well, Jack Gibson, this injury problem is going to get uh, a little worse in the second half, but both sides seem to be carrying a lot of little niggling injuries, particularly New South Wales, who had their play, their, most of their players, or all their players on the weekend. Well, a lot of them arrived here, damaged goods, and it's, this game's not going to improve it. Well, Gary Jack, he looked a little ill early in the game, but by G's played well since then as he gets out of one, gets out of two. No, they wrap him up and come back and get him. Gene Miles have a wrestling match on the ground too. He's taken play outside the 22 as Johnson goes for a run. Only makes two or three metres, but gives New South Wales time to get deep and line up. Simmons on to Sterling. Sterling gets it out to uh, Folks, who's wrestled down cowboy style. Simmons on to Cleal. He's been quiet so far. Cleal loses the ball too. Bad mistake. Murray will play it. Now Queensland back with a chance. But this game's come alive again as Wally Lewis tries to uh, just make that couple of metres and get a break, but can't do it. Too much defence. G. Miles at dummy half. Comes on to French, the uh, replacement player. Came on for Tessman. Kaneshku dummy half on the Niebling. Niebling wrapped up and belted down pretty hard by the, the New South Wales forwards. Ganescu on to Murray. There's Lewis. Oh, drop ball to New South Wales with another chance. They can't handle it. So we'll have a scrum. Ten metres short of the halfway line. New South Wales into the ground. Well, Ian, this game's been played in stops and starts. Queensland started on fire, then New South Wales came back. Indeed, and that they're building each other around. I would think the, the, the only person who doesn't mind how hard these fellas built themselves about is the New Zealand coach, Graham Lowe, sitting across the Tasman, smiling to himself. Because whatever side the, the Australian selectors come up with tonight, he's going to be badly battered and bruised after this encounter. And here's New South Wales with it. Noel Creel. Noel Creel still going. Losing the ball again. Not having him to win with his hands crushing. The Shearer picks up the deck. He's lost it. Picked up by Jack. Now it's a cross with folks for New South Wales. On to Pierce, to Kenny. Kenny saw the gap. How did he get through that gap? Kenny, Kenny in the clear. Looks for support. Pierce is there. What a great play. What a great play from New South Wales. And Fred Kenny, how did he get through that gap? I can't believe how Fred Kenny was able to slip through that gap. Watch it again with us. Folks gave the pass to Pierce. And watch Kenny. Look. How can he get through that? He's not entitled to. What a great player he is. And a good pass from Kenny, from Pierce to, to Pierce. And there's the try. What a fine try, Jackie. Well, I've got to agree with you. He had a little to do with that, the boy Kenny. But Pierce was good there too, and so was folks. He got a good shot out of it. He stays alive, Pierce, and anticipates Kenny going to do something. He's looking for help and goes straight into Pierce's hands. A toothy grin from Wayne Pierce says it all. 12-10 is the score. Michael O'Connor will attempt to make it 12 all. The try is scored by Pierce just to the side of the right hand upright. Now O'Connor. Makes no mistakes. And we have the game tied up at 12 all here at Lane Park. And we've seen plenty of action, we've seen plenty of tries. 
and uh, there's uh, Ron Willey with Eric Groth who came off early in the match with what we see well it's obviously a knee injury just have a look at the tape on his leg knee or thigh as Queensland restart and for uh, Mortimer up to the quarter line before he's caught now Brian Johnson from dummy half makes another 10 metres very valuable 10 metres Coach has it Simmons back for Mortimer and the kick again down for Belcher this time Belcher having trouble picking it up and finally up into the water vicious tackle 30 metres out from his own line kiss from dummy half very elusive win held by Tungsten Sterling blind side is Jones nine metres short of the halfway mark Tonescu tries to scurry from dummy half made about a metre now to Lewis to Miles Miles again able to stand in that tackle and almost get through last tackle signal from referee Roberts back to Lewis long kick from Lewis over Johnson's head is it going to find touch oh is it what marvellous kick from Lewis finds touch about uh, well, about eight metres from uh, the New South Wales line. It's a fine kick. Johnson had no chance in the world of getting to that. So this scrum will be fed by Sterling for New South Wales. It should go the Blues way. 12 all the score. Well, referee Roberts not happy with it and often see this scrum being fed more than once these days it's a rare occasion but Sterling has it now at the scrum base and caught 11 metres out from the New South Wales line Johnson a dummy half and pack slam a strong tackle from Meninga now across to Pierce not making much progress though Now it's back again for Mortimer. Oh, he's got the line. An awful mistake. Well, the pass went from Simmons. Back to Mortimer for the kick. And the simplest of mistakes means that uh, Queensland get the feed. Only uh, six or seven metres out. That's gone with the feed. Linda has it. Linda, though, caught quickly by uh, Coyle, who broke very fast. Now, what can Queensland do? It's across to Meninga. And a long pass and then Chris is going to score. That's Chris in. Well, that pass from Meninga made it look easy. And Les Kiss, who's been very much involved in this game, in the score, yet another try. We've had a feast of them so far. Here it is. It went from Murray to Lewis to Meninga. And this is the pass that did it. Nice pass to, to Les Kiss in the score for Queensland. Well, it's an action replay of a couple of plays earlier than when Lewis, whatever side Wally Lewis stands, the ball's going to go. But again, New South Wales never adjusted. And Meninga done a Lewis then. He cut one player out and there was that kiss just sitting there waiting. So Kiss will attempt the conversion of his own try. He's taken it back past the quarter line. It was scored about four metres in from touch. Six tries scored in the first half. Can't complain about the action. So Gilles Kiss will attempt to put uh, Queensland six points ahead. They now lead 16 to 12. With five minutes to go, here is the kick from Les Kiss. Oh, it's an awful kick. Gee, Queensland have kicked poorly tonight. They still lead 16 to 12. Now with just under five to go. Yes, yeah, so it's amazing. Six tries in this half, but only three penalties have been awarded. So it's been plenty of action for the big crowd here at Lang Park tonight. Magnificent game so far. 16-12. Bruising match. A lot at stake. Australian selection tonight for the Test Series starts in New Zealand in Auckland. Carlow Park Sunday. You'll see it on Nines Wide World of Sport.
New South Wales re recommence play again. Five minutes or four minutes out from half time. Queensland now in front, 16 12. And this man's been fantastic tonight, Gary Belcher. He's been in position all the time. Gene Miles had a strong game. Lewis has had a hand in, in every try so far tonight. But he's having a big game, Wally Lewis. Wally Lewis has a big game every time I see the boy play. Comments from Jack Gibson. As Queensland work to play just outside their 22. New South Wales anxious to get the ball, but Lewis flicks it back to Meninga for the pass. They want to get out of that territory. Back it goes. They bring it back to Blues. Can they score bet between now and half time? Running it up as Noel Cleal puts a big fend out. Noel Cleal put down a couple of balls. The big man had a lot of ice packed on his uh, feet and arms yesterday in the hotel after a pretty tough game over the weekend. Folks has been strong tonight. Simmons gets it on to Roach. 22 metres out from the Queensland line now, New South Wales. They'd love to score be before half time. Pierce on to Lamb. Lamb chips. Comes down to Belcher though, right on the line, fumbles it but takes it okay. And there's tackle about a metre out from the line. And he's hurt too. Can he tackle over the top? Belcher down hurt. He pointing back, saying all I did was uh, tackle him. Here it is again, Belcher. There's the wrap-up tackle. Came down on him. No, I think he's under instructions. There's not a doubt. There's nearly half time, and they, they don't want to do anything because Queensland just need a little spell. Yeah, it looked all right to me, Jack. Gary Belcher, the fullback. A magic sponge and a uh, quick drink. Queensland regroup now. A few things being said there too as the ball is played. It's Jones who brings it out. Oh, and they reap the ball out. Chance for New South Wales. Roach, long floating pass out. Lamb just handles it. Gets it on to Kenny. Kenny puts the pedal down, but his tackle about a metre out. Wrestling down is Lewis all over the top of him like a wet blanket. Kenny's laughing. Right, they tow it through. Comes back to Sterling now, on the Lamb. Long ball out for Gary Jack. He's got numbers outside. Jack the ball down with a good tackle. But New South Wales still have some time now. Goes to Sterling. They've got a set move on. Comes over Johnson. Johnson straightens up. Centre field now, New South Wales. Which way will they go? They go on to Roach. Roach now flicks one out for Lamb. There's the long floating ball out for for Mortimer, he gets it on to Kenny, Kenny evades one, on to Pierce, Pierce going for the line and he's only half a metre out, New South Wales throwing everything with just one tackle to go now, it goes to Tux, Tux bearing his way, he's put it down, the right sees a try, Big Tux has thrown it over and slammed it down for New South Wales, whoa, power play from Tux, and Kenny was in that one too. Here's the play, the ball, Tunks just drives off those huge legs right through the Queensland defence and bang, down it goes. And a try for New South Wales. And Wally Lewis is having a talk to the referee. Peter Tunks, the try scorer. Well, it looked a little suspicious there, he may have fumbled it across. But we're a long way from the action here, just looking on the replay, that was, could have been a malfunction there. Let's have another look, Jack, here it is again. Well, he gets, he's got the leverage, he gets it down with one hand, but uh, I, to me, it was no try. Well, Lewis was but arguing the, the point. Scoreboard. Lewis arguing the point, 16 apiece, the kick to come. O'Connor, he's had a good night with the boot tonight. It's not an easy angle. Pretty vital, though, we're only seconds away from half-time. Crowd really giving him the big banana vendors layers up here. Don't phase him. There it goes. Waved away though. So 16 all the score. In another thriller here. State of origin. Series number three. Now Queensland have missed five kicks at goal so far tonight. New South Wales kicked marginally better. Meninga will restart for, for Queensland. Drives it down, only seconds remaining. Mortimer 
brings it back and there it is the half time hooter is gone and we have a scoreline of 16 all so plenty to come in the second half here Queensland have led on most of the occasions as Sterling takes the ball now and they bring it back through Pierce. the Queensland have led in Brisbane 16-12 Sydney 16-12 but tonight 16-16 so anything can happen tonight and it should in the second half Back it comes to Tunk, scored that vital try. He, cert he certainly got the points just before half time. Goes back to Simmons, on to Sterling. Sterling clears now, clearing kick. And Queensland bring it back to the halfway line. It's a pretty vigorous attack and defence gone on in this first half. Here it is, time of possession. Queensland, 12 minutes, 10 seconds. New South Wales, 10 minutes, 55 seconds. So, nothing much in it. And this defence still big. As we've said before, the first test in Carlo Park, Auckland and New Zealand on Sunday. And you'll see it live as Miles puts another nice ball around the corner that's put down. New South Wales come up with it. And then they are right on the halfway line. They lose the football this time. And back it goes to Miles again. He and Cleal having a wrestling match to find out who's got it. But Miles will play it. Yes, sir. Cleal strikes for the ball. And that's a given a penalty to Queensland, so silly play. Lewis will kick for touch. Right on the halfway line, he kicks it, drives the ball deep too, and this will put Queensland in a really good attacking position. Around about 12 metres out, quick tap is taken now. Here's Kanescu, the runners come onto it, it's Cavill Hugh, hard and straight. They're nice and deep, Queensland. Back they came again, and this is French this time, the second man off the pass. They'll go to the blind side, advice from Jack Gibson, but they go from Dummy Half, and I think he's there on the late sea. Oh, no, he just fumbled it. Well, so close. Let's have another look at that. This Kineskew takes it from Dummy Half takes his hands off the football there now that was the problem he took his hands off the ball as he drove toward the line so New South Wales off the hook in the early minutes of this game as they have the ball now 11 metres out from their line folks will play it back to Roy Simmons Simmons gets it on the big roach and French over the, the top for smothering ball and all a lot of tackles going on Cavill Hugh being a lot of uh, defensive work too Canescu Sterling dummy half this time will go back for the kick and it does too no they decide to go the other way and Jack uses the ball puts it in the air down it comes New South Wales going to keep away from Shearer as he picks it up passes it out but uh, can't do anything there with it as Belcher is tackled and wrapped up by Kenny Kenny's had a huge game tonight Meninga this time driving forward with three New South Walesmen hanging off him can a dummy half Goes on to Niebling, and they're almost at the 22. Cavill Hugh, right on the 22 now. That's their fourth tackle. Miles calling for the ball. It goes the other way, though, to Murray. Again on to Lewis. Lewis gets on to Meninga. Nice short ball up this time. And they get it away to this year, but he can't handle it. Put it down, Belcher, for a little uh, sloppy pass in, but New South Wales have come up with it. It was worth a chance though, they uh, certainly got a lot of pace on the wings as Queensland side, the Simmons takes it up now. Plenty of defence. Out for Roach, no, it goes the other way to Pierce. Pierce bumps his way, but uh, can't uh, get through Cavill, Hughes tackle. Bit of a misunderstanding there, there was no one there, uh, two bunched New South Wales, had to take the tackle. Comes back to Roach, Roach slips one out to Cleal. Cleal quickly marked though, they've been right on Cleal tonight. Haven't let him move a half a metre without hanging off him. O'Connor flicks it back for Mortimer. Mortimer in the air now. Comes down to Belcher, takes it well. Plenty of New South Wales chases there. Sterling goes after him, he gets out of Sterling's tackle. Doesn't beat Kenny though, with Tunks over the top. Shearer dummy half. Goes from there, runs centre field. Half a break, but <laughs> swinging arm from New South Wales, but he's okay. <laughs> Kineskew on to Murray Neebling will play it just inside New South Wales' half 
Back to Kineski on the Murray again, looking for runners. Meninga, Meninga with a short pass. Miles will play it. Comes back to Lewis. He stabs for the line. It's charged down by New South Wales. The Bruce has take the ball, but uh, referee Roberts is offside, and the crowd not happy with that one again, Maurice. Yeah, they're not happy, but I think the referee was quite right because there was no attempt by the New South Wales player to play at that ball and there must be an attempt to play at it before that uh, offside rule is nullified. But for mine, Jack Gibson, he didn't play at that. Well, I thought they were inside the five when the ball arrived because they were in front of the kick and they were inside the five yards and if we had to make quick decision, I give him, uh, I think it was a fair penalty. Yeah, I agree with you. OK, now New South Wales have it. It's just 10 metres inside Queensland's half. His Queel down the blind side, running strongly, taking play to the 32 metre mark before he's put down. Simmons at dummy half, across for Sterling, and then to land, the run around with Sterling, and an off on from Chris Moore. Well, we were saying before that the handling for this game has not been all that good. And it's the second time that Mortimer has put the, uh, what was a relatively simple pass down. There it was. Well, it was a fair bit of toughness in it from my point of view because he was trying to catch it and pass in the one action and it didn't happen that way. Now here's Queensland again with uh, Miles getting a pass that's gone astray over the touchline. This kiss couldn't pull it down. It was the pass from Miles, the one-handed pass over the top that, uh, that Kiss couldn't grab. The scrum goes down to 10 metres inside New South Wales territory. This is the look from the blind side as New South Wales win it. And here's Kenny. Caught by a couple of Queensland defenders. Belcher and Lewis. And that pass look forward to me as Johnson takes it and the referee agreed. Well, the referee is... Oh, what's he doing here? He's calling out a Queensland player. That pass there I thought was forward. Well, he's getting a little nervous there too, Mr. Roberts. They, they were offside for starters, Queensland. But the pass may have been a little forward, but the crowd's a weapon here, and they certainly reacted quick. Well, he's put a scrum down, and it's just inside Queensland territory. It's uh, going to go with the feed as Murray picks it up. Murray almost out of one, two, and got a pass back to Linda, but that pass was forward. And referee Roberts on the spot, recalling it. Whether it was intentional or not, I don't really know. No, I don't think it was intentionally forward. So he's put the scrum down for an offside pass. Now it's been won by New South Wales and back with Gary Jack. That one had a pass for O'Connor. Shearer comes to him and puts him down just inside the uh, Queensland half. 16 points together. New South Wales and Queensland. This third state of origin matches. Folks puts it down, picked up by Kinescu. And again, the mistakes creeping into New South Wales play as it did in the first half. Queensland throwing it about now with Niebling, 10 metres inside the Blues half. It's back for Jones, and Jones out of one, running strongly, he's lost the ball, picked up by Crusher Cleal, and the pass has gone out to Kenny. Kenny, out of one, sidestepping and weaving, taking play up towards the halfway mark now, before he's put down. So possession changing rapidly in this game. Now it's back to Roach, he didn't want it, it's back to Simmons, he didn't want it either. And Simmons puts his head down and almost gets through. And it's still able to slip the pass to Sterling. Now the floater for Jack. Jack saw the gap, links up with O'Connor. O'Connor can't bend around Shearer, but able to offload to Pierce. Pierce inside the Queensland Territory. A pass back to Mortimer, on to Jack. Jack caught from behind and a good tackle. Shearer it was, brought him down, but now play just 32 metres out from the Queensland line. Inside goes Folks off, off for Sterling. And, Ster and Folks almost to the quarter line. Across to Sterling, then to Crusher Cleal. Cleal running strongly. Cleal still going. 13 metres out now from the Queensland line. Simmons goes blindside, a pass to nobody, picked up by Gary Jack. Last tackle signal for New South Wales. It's back to Sterling. There's the bomb from Sterling. It's uh, up, hanging in the air. A couple of blue jumpers chasing it. It's loose. Everybody's diving on it, and the referee has uh, ruled that New South Wales couldn't ground it. And we'll put a scrum down. Well, there's certainly some great plays in that set of six, but when they're going to pitch the ball around, you've got to come up with a few mistakes, which both sides are doing. Now Murray works the scrum. 
five metres out from the uh, Queensland line. Gone with the feed again. Murray caught at the scrum base by Sterling. Now goes Belcher from dummy half. Belcher almost to the corner. Back to Lewis. The kick from Wally is uh, over the head of Gary Jack. It's a long, raking kick. Running towards the touch line. Corner with nowhere to go and that man Wally Lewis put his foot to the ball again and found touch just outside the New South Wales quarter he does this time and time again it happens too regular to be a fluke he does it a dozen times again I've just scrum now back just outside the New South Wales 22 Kevin Roberts having a bit of trouble getting them to, to pack squarely, so he asked them to move over. A couple of metres, packs them down again. There's the view from the blind side as Sterling goes around and clears the ball out to, uh, to Lamb. Back to Sterling. Oh. Queensland offside and wave back, so a penalty to New South Wales. Four or five of the Queensland players offside. Quickly, New South Wales take the kick. The chasers are coming through as back they come from it. Shearer stops at soccer style and brings it back down, but they take him on the 22. Good chasing from New South Wales. Queensland back in the danger zone now. Comes to Lewis. Lewis flicks uh, a long, quick ball out, and he gets it out to Kiss. Kiss puts uh, a bit of pace on. He gets out of one. Puts a ball up very quickly for Belcher. But Belcher has, taken, uh, has lost the ball, and Penny will come up with it. So possession changing so quickly in this game. Outside having time to settle as New South Wales make another raid toward the 22. Nice and deep. Let's see what they're going to do. Roach takes it up for one. Defence meets him. Back for Tunk. So they're using the big men to try and get to the 22. They're about a metre short. 16 all in a thriller. Lamb with a good, nice good pass out to, to Kenny. Kenny gets it on to Mortimer. Mortimer now out to O'Connor. O'Connor comes back inside. He's inside the 22 now. Mortimer moves to dummy half. Queensland slow to get off O'Connor. Comes back to Lamb. Lamb puts it up. Through come the chasers. Oh, and up they go. And it's a, well, they only took it on the, on the rebound, but that's all you've got to do, I guess. And Belcher looks okay. You know it's Koneski that'll come up with it. Back for Miles. Miles bustling, but they've got him wrapped up, Miles. And uh, this crowd trying to uh, sway Roberts, but he won't be moved. Roberts, too much experience for that. As Jones belts his way forward, gets out of one and rolls three or four metres. Still inside the 22, Queensland. Scoreline, 16 all. Miles getting very, very involved in this, this game tonight. By G's back to his bustling best. Big man, plenty of strength. Belcher clears this time for Queensland. Goes straight down O'Connor's throat. Brings it back to the halfway line inside Queensland territory now. Just slips under Meninga. Gary Jack moves the dummy half. Queens New South Wales very slow to get back. So, whoa, back slam by Meninga is Jack. He tried to take a set and let the side get back onside. And paid the penalty for that one. Kenny. Kenny out to Lamb. Of, uh, misplayed it and Johnston falls on it cleans it up for New South Wales folks folks from dummy half pretty scrappy stuff at the moment both sides taking a long time to get back they're tired at the moment Tunks winding up for a run it doesn't happen Simmons goes there he's been cheeky getting five and six meters every time he runs from dummy half clear at dummy half now goes out to Sterling Sterling drives for the line and he'll find it too that's a good kick from Peter Sterling the scrumble pack in the Queensland inside their 22. This is the eighth scrum in the second half, so some pretty scrappy play. Both sides retired, scoreline 16 all. Lewis and uh, Roberts having a bit of a conference as he talks to French. And by gee, it must be a, a pretty horrendous time to go through a refereeing stint here at Lang Park. The crowd certainly don't miss anything you do and they try and sway you too with the roars and the boos right scrum back now no 
Harry Quinson. Peter Cross in the scrum. New South Wales. Well, Jack Gibson has a little smile. Well, if something's going to happen there, he decided it was feet across, but there was 10 things probably could have pinched. Lewis with a big, long, raking kick, and that's found plenty of ground too. That's inside his 22, and that'll bring play almost, in fact, onto the halfway line. Lewis goes for a gallop from there. Busting run, oh, 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 and they meet him too. King Wally dropping plenty tonight, but having a big game. As Neeling takes the settler. And they're making pretty good ground, Queensland. Away they charge again with their big men. But this New South Wales defence is there to meet them. Back it comes, they go to the blind side. Murray, Murray turns a nice ball back inside for French and French puts it to down. All about 10 metres out, so Queensland with a chance now. Let's see the runners. Cavill Hugh, Cavill Hugh winds up, he's gone! Cavill Hugh, he's given it! He's given it! No, he hasn't. He hasn't awarded. He's got a plate. He's only half a metre short. Signals going everywhere from Queensland. Ball loose. Big toe through from New South Wales. Les Kiss is chasing it. He falls on it, but it rolls into touch. Well, a let off for New South Wales as Hugh charged the line. Replacement going on. Gillespie is coming on for New South Wales. See who goes off. It looks like Tunks is going off. Peter Tunks is off. That knee has uh, been giving him plenty of trouble right throughout the season. He brave performance this year, Peter Tunks. Well, Ian Maurice Gillespie's been waiting a long time to get a chance as that penalty goes to, uh, to Queensland. Yes, Gillespie uh, has been on a couple of occasions in the series so far, but only for a short time. And uh, he's a man that is widely respected by his teammates. On to replace Peter Tunks. And with the score at 16 all and 23 minutes to go, he's going to really get a taste of state of origin football now. This is a free kick taken by Queensland just 10 metres out from the New South Wales line. It's with Murray. And referee recalling it. And putting a scrum down. Oh, gee, that's a terrible mistake from Queensland. Well, now he's, he's ruled that... He's ruled that uh, Linda, I think, was standing in front of the man with the ball. I don't know what he will. <laughs> in any case, the penalty's gone to New South Wales. And they certainly, uh, Queensland certainly squandered that. Now, there's players down everywhere. What's happening now? There's a player down injured. It's uh, Niebling who's down injured. Penalty has gone to New South Wales because of this incident. It was a bump from Jones and a swinging arm into the ear. Bells are ringing for me and my gal. So, New South Wales fine touch. Ten metres short of the halfway mark. Here's Simmons with the free kick. Giving it away to Gillespie. He's short of the halfway mark now. Yes. Held off low, but straight into the arms of Murray. So, once again, possession changes hands. It's Queensland on the charge again. Lewis, a pass out there for French, which has gone astray. French picks it up, but referee Roberts will play the knock on. Well, I think condition now, this last 20 minutes, that they're going to be in the Blues' favour. They haven't had the tough, hard build-up, really. But the uh, New South Wales players get every Sunday. New South Wales feed, and it's gone with the feed. This scrum as Jack now has it, and Jack bumping his way through and still able to stand for a long time before he's put down five metres short of the halfway mark in New South Wales territory. This is Terry Lamb. Lamb now playing almost a full game. Came on early in the match to replace Eric Groth who we think injured his knee. Here's Gillespie. Gillespie straight up the middle making good yardage. He's finally caught now. Simmons across to Sterling but referee ruling a knock on and uh, the New South Wales players protesting that in fact it came off a Queensland foot. Yeah, very poor decision that. He didn't... It should have been six more tackles to New South Wales or a penalty. Oh, gee. Referee Roberts will look at that and I'm sure he'll agree with us. A little hasty perhaps, but certainly it should have been six more tackles. Instead we have a scrum going down and the Queensland ball. As Belcher runs off that Lewis pass and is put down eight metres short of the halfway mark. In the runs from dummy half inside New South Wales territory. 
with Murray. It's with Shearer. Shearer's put it down, picked up by, by Noel Cleal. Again, this possession changing hands rapidly. Here's Gillespie. Up to the halfway mark, just short of it. In fact, 16 points all. 20 minutes of this State of Origin third match to go. As Roach takes play inside Queensland Territory again. Simmons from dummy half on his own made another five or six meters and still standing and looking for support but there was no one there 10 meters inside Queensland territory folks at dummy half almost intercepted by Queensland six more tackle signal now by referee Roberts as Gillespie falls on it tackle count restarts with Sterling on to uh, Crusher Cleal heavy hit for Crusher hangs onto it though or play it across to Steve Roach Made about three metres. Now, blind side goes Cleal. And again, not able to slip that pass. New South Wales now lose, putting it behind him as Fates dives on it. And knocked backwards, last tackle for New South Wales. Across for Terry Lamb, a long range field goal attempt. It's going to be uh, well wide though and will go in fact over the dead ball line 16 points all the score remains down yes no score in the second half the 16 all score line remains the half time score and some pretty scrappy players both sides are starting to feel the pace of this game and it's been a pretty hard series for them as Jack Gibson has said fitness vital and if you're going to lean that way you'd have to lean New South Wales way as far as fitness goes but this Queensland side playing pretty well tonight the bounce of the ball could decide this one Cavill Hugh. Back to Kineskew. Running from dummy half. That's pretty negative stuff there. He had a lot of players. And Gene Miles wasn't happy either. He was sort of screaming, what about us? Lewis now switches it back for Belcher. Belcher kicks. And just finds a line through a lovely little uh, chip shot. Just landed at centimetres in and rolled into touch. Well, they built up in that set of plays. was about four four short runs for a kick uh, they seem to be slowing down but they've had a couple of good decisions go their way the Queensland scrum the pack New South Wales to feed Sterling goes in this will be against the feed for Queensland important win right quickly Belcher now gets it out to Miles Miles with that one hand but just dangerous stuff Jack the way he carries that ball with one hand to unload well he had no receivers there then but if there'd been somebody there they'd probably score Belcher with a fine runner inside the 22 is Lewis. Lewis puts a short pass up there, raiding away. Queensland are about seven metres out, but great defence from New South Wales. And they smash them back. And they're down on 10 metres out from the line now. Queensland in possession. They wind up again, and there's a big run from Jones. We'll play it back. He's about five metres out. They've got the numbers here. Wallace for Lewis. Lewis. Meninga standing. They've wrapped him up, ball and all. He's only half a metre short, but they're still on the attack. Running out of tackles quickly, what will they do? Comes back, there's Murray with a little slingshot. Picked up quickly. But they're about half a metre out and the penalty is gone to New South Wales. And this will bring it all of it. Lewis puts his hands on his head and Wally Lewis has gone off his head. Grabbed the side of his head and said, no, I don't believe it. Jack Gibson. Well, the kick may have come off uh, New South Wales player. That, it did. It was fair play. Well, Wally Lewis wasn't happy. He was absolutely annoyed at that one. He threw his head back, but of course that's all part of the tactics of the game. Trying to sway the referee. Okay, New South Wales with the ball. Out on the 22. Simmons gives it to Gillespie. Been waiting for a chance in this series, Gillespie. 16 apiece. Pierce. Linda with a good tackle. Two locks have had a good duel. Sterling, Sterling puts it in the air, drives it down toward the, the grandstand touchline, but to Belcher, Belcher playing well, takes the ball and brings it back, gets it out for, uh, for Kiss, Kiss dancing, swung down though, tackled midway between the, the quarter and a halfway in Queensland's under the ground, Meninga was at dummy half, here's Linda winding up, good player this fellow, if he can get into some open spaces, hasn't had many chances though, just in the New South Wales half, now it goes to Lewis, goes on a needling, needling back to Lewis, Lewis cuts out a player and gives it to Murray. 
It was French that he cut out. Jones out to Meninga. Meninga winding up, had runners there but couldn't unload. 25 minutes of the second half. Queens on the attack with Cavill Hugh. Cavill Hugh building his way out, unloads it too. Took plenty of her defenders with him. And Ray, they come with the Gavin Jones, almost to the 22. They're about five metres short. Last tackle though, watch for Lewis. Lewis is back deep. There it is. Here's the field goal attempt. He certainly got the height, but it, uh, it'll go wide. So both teams, Lamb has had a go, and now Lewis has had a go. As Gary Jack brings it back and makes a bust too, Gary Jack. And they just angle tapping to bring him down. But he's played well, Gary Jack. And he uh, was hurt in the first half too. Goes again, plays forward. Kevin Roberts says that's okay. Back from Autumn, a dummy half on to Simmons. Simmons burrows down and just takes a settler now. New South Wales walking, Jack. Well, I don't think they're walking. They're, work they're working away, all right. They haven't had much ball for a couple of minutes. Yeah. Getting back to the referee, Roberts, uh, I've been a little critical of him, but he's had to make a lot of decisions when I come to think of it. I don't know anyone else could have done a better job than he. Well, he's had to work pretty hard. They're not walking, they're going backwards. They've lost about 20 metres in that movement as they're back on the 22 again. Back to the clearing kick through Mortimer. Straight down Belcher straight. Has a juggle again. He's done it a couple of times. Winds up Belcher too. But he's deceptive, this fellow. He doesn't look like he's moving, but he certainly makes territory every time he takes the ball. Probing away, Queensland they just probe, oh look this defence, French, French is out of two, inside the 22 attack for Queensland and they just slip, and who was the man there, Gary Jack, last line of defence, players down everywhere at the moment, there's Kiss, Kiss goes down, tackled by French, well Kiss got a knee in the back of Jack but it's certainly accidental, his momentum, have much to do with it. No, oh, geez, in a bit of pain too. We're working on him now in that lower back or kidney area. Gary Jack has been everywhere tonight. Defence. Wally Lewis, pensive look. Crowd getting restless. Kiss getting up. A few deep breaths. He looks like he's okay. Nods ahead. Says I'm okay. Right, the roar goes up, Queensland, Queensland. The scrum pack 12 metres out from the New South Wales line, a real big push from Queensland as they try and drive the Blues off the ball. No luck though, New South Wales have it. This is Johnston. Back for Simmons. On to Gillespie. And they're almost at the 22, so New South Wales made some good ground there with those few tackles. Pierce, hard and straight, the only way he knows how to go. Fourth tackle for New South Wales. Simmons, dummy half. Back for the kick through Terry Lamb. Big deep kick, he tries to split it between the, the winger and the fullback. Belcher takes it though, he's got cheer and support, but he goes back the other way. Well, Liam Maurice, this Belcher hasn't let him down since he's uh, started playing for the state side. Played very, very well, hasn't he? Very strong in attack and in defence. And here he is again, running very strongly, taking play up towards the halfway mark. 12 minutes remaining, 16 points all the score. Here's Lewis into New South Wales territory now, starting to run a little bit, Wally. Caught though. Line side. Goes Jones. He's playing very strongly. Still full of running, Jones. Now cross for Murray. Lewis. And Miles, Miles out of one. Last tackle signal for Queensland. Back for Lewis. Again, that kick for the touchline is past O'Connor. And it's going to baffle O'Connor and into touch. <laughs> well, O'Connor thought he might have had that covered. It very nearly went into the hands of uh, Shearer. Well, had a little backspin it on at that ball. Yeah. Good luck, your nine iron shots, Jack. Now here's the uh, New South Wales halfback Sterling falling on it. A scoreless second half. 16 all the score. And Crusher Coyle. Taking play up, made about 10 metres or so. 
Well, they were strong yards. Now it's with Mortimer and Kenny. It's Jack. And uh, Johnson just able to bring that in. Now Gary Jack again, swinging arm from uh, Meninga. I must say that this has been Meninga's best uh, match in the series so far for mine. Well, he's big enough to burn Diesel, who's certainly worked out. Now, 10 metres short of the halfway mark. Folks playing it for New South Wales. Penalty has gone to New South Wales. Well, I honestly couldn't tell you what that was for. It was in the play of the ball. They're gonna... He struck at the ball while he was trying to hit a cup double pump with his foot. I thought the folks the might ball. have... Uh, a little, little bit of foxing. That was a little nitpicking one. Now it's 10 metres inside Queensland territory as Gillespie runs straight into the Queensland pack. 10 minutes to go, 16 points all. New South Wales desperately trying to make it 3-0 in this uh, interstate series. No team has ever done that. And look at Crusher Cleal making great ground inside the quarter line. Now it's with Lamb, run around with Sterling, the pass is there for Kenny, running off Kenny though is Wayne Pierce. inside goes Gary Jack, a high tackle for Miles. Jack put down, referee just issues the caution, Jack has hit the deck. Kenny has it. And in the field goal there. In, posi in position for the field goal, if they can get it back, but uh, offside that fellow. Offside, and referee Roberts had no hesitation in ruling that. He just can't stand alongside the man playing the ball. And that's exactly what Kaneski did. Look, at no stage was he onside. Here is that uh, earlier tackle on Jack. The, the pass was there from Pierce and ooh, around the, the ears again from uh, Gene Miles. Now, Wally Lewis is down, and I'm not surprised. This game has been fast and furious seems to be uh, back of his knee seems to be causing some problem but uh, the most important thing from the New South Wales point of view is that the penalty has been awarded and it's on that spot where Lewis is and that is only 11 metres out and uh, just to the left of the post so for a kicker of O'Connor's ability it's uh, a uh, relatively easy kick it's certainly a pressure kick down. He's doing, he's having plenty of time to think about it. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, Jack. Well, he's, he, he'll come together. They put him together, a little bit of that magic water on him. So the, uh, the booze from the crowd as uh, O'Connor will attempt this kick that could put New South Wales in front. Don't forget that not only is New South Wales trying to uh, make a clean sweep of the series for the first time, the Australian selectors tonight will uh, choose the first test team to play New Zealand in Auckland next Sunday, which you'll see live on Y World of Sports Sunday at uh, midday. A Queensland have missed five kicks at goal, which is possibly ten points. That could be very costly. But the pressure is on O'Connor now with this kick. And he's made no mistake. New South Wales hit the front. 18 points to 16. Back at Lang Park in a moment. Screen from the kickoff. They've been pinned in their own quarter, and that kick is now back with Belcher, who's put down just outside his own quarter. Well, with six or seven minutes to go, the real pressure will be on the referee. We're going to find out what it's like because they're two in front. And you can bet your life this crowd will be right on him. Here's Miles now playing at 32 metres out from the Queensland line. Across to Murray. Now Meninga. Meninga caught though. 10 metres short of the halfway mark. Mortimer the tackler. It's with uh, Kanescu now with Lewis. Knock on from uh, Cavill Hugh. Costly mistake. In the uh, last six minutes of this match now. Pass was okay. So... Cavill Hugh couldn't pull it in. So this scrum is 12 metres inside Queensland territory. Referee Roberts now 
not happy with the way that scrum was packing. Fed by Sterling. Won by New South Wales with the feed. Sterling running now, getting it to Lamb. Lamb caught and held by Miles. 18-16, New South Wales lead. Five and a half minutes of play remaining. New South Wales could make history as Pierce runs from dummy half. They could become the first side to make a clean sweep of the State of Origin series. And they're five minutes away from doing just that. 32 metres out now. New South Wales with the pass from Simmons blind side to Cleal. Cleal running strongly, taking play inside the Queensland quarter. Now it's back with folks. Now they're only 15 metres out. Last tackle signal for New South Wales. It's with Sterling. The bomb from Sterling being chased by Lamb and Kenny. Up they go for it and it's loose. And oh, gee whiz, Lamb very nearly got a hand of that. Coming back very quickly, Queensland. They want to uh, make the most of the remaining four and a half minutes. New South Wales four and a half minutes away from making history as Linda takes it for Queensland. 30 metres out from the Queensland line. 18-16, New South Wales lead. Passes across now for Jones. 32 metres out. Now Cavill Hugh. Lewis. Ball is loose. Miles couldn't hang on to it. And referee Roberts ruling the knock on. Well, gee. Is that a fair comment, Jack? Yeah, no, it's a knock on for sure. Yep, you're quite right. The ball was propelled forward. Gee, you've got good eyesight, Jack. Well, I'm not playing. <laughs> <laughs> now the scrum fed by Sterling. Brought out the scrum base. I'll just take things nice and steady now, New South Wales. I don't think you see too much fancy footwork here. 18-16, New South Wales lead with uh, three and a half minutes of play remaining. Simmons getting it across to Lamb and then to Pierce. Queensland can't do anything without the football. Now here's Simmons again, running from dummy half and getting it back to Cleal, who's had a much better second half crusher. He's certainly picked up some tough yards. He's gone right up centre field. Saw the concern look on Queensland coach Wayne Bennett. Not a very pleasant thought, I suppose, to be the first coach to uh, not win a match in the series. Now Sterling's little grubber kick, following it through to Sterling. It's loose. It's Belcher couldn't get to it. Sterling couldn't get to it. Stacks on the mill. And the ruling is knock on from both sides. So a scrum to go down. Five metres out. As we see the replay that uh, Sterling's kick and he almost got back to it. Now the scrum as Pierce has it. Got it away. There are only nine metres out from the New South from the Queensland line. Blind side goes Pierce. Two minutes. Just over two minutes remaining. Simmons dummy half. It's to Gillespie. Gillespie barging towards the line. A metre or two short. Now it's with uh, Roach. The pass knocked down. It was meant for Cleal, but it was knocked down, picked up by Simmons. He did well to pick it up, but referee Roberts will rule the knock on. Well, I thought Queensland knocked that ball down, but I think Roberts was unsighted. So the scrum will go down. Ten metres out from the Queensland line. It's with Belcher. We have to do something exciting here, and Meninga looks like he might be able to do it. Meninga to the halfway mark. The little kick through for Meninga. It's a chase, and what a chase this will be. But it's going to fade. Oh, my God, I can't get to it, but finally dives on it. Not back at the referee. No knock on, he said. Play on. The crowd didn't like it. Oh, gee, pressure situation. Referee Roberts had to rule quickly on that. Oh, gee, Jack. Well, from that angle, that, that, that angle shot, it definitely looked like the ball went forward. But as I s saw it from here, it was a fair decision again from Roberts. But he had a tough one. He's up field 20 yards. He was, wasn't right opposite the, where the ball bounced. Times like this that you wouldn't be a referee for a million dollars, would you? 
No, this is uh, this is a tough one he's going to do. So uh, Lewis lashing out in the play of the ball and uh, six tackle count uh, restarted for New South Wales. I'll just use up the time now. There's only a minute 15 remaining. 18-16, New South Wales leading. Gillespie playing it. Simmons will just run from dummy half. Queensland must get the football if they are to do anything at all. And Pierce is intent on them not having it. There's the time clock ticking down, as you saw. It's back for Roach. Last tackle signal. And it's uh, back now for Lamb. His kick is straight down the throat of Belcher. Now Belcher is going to have to be a miracle man to do anything here. The kick, the chip ahead for Shearer. But uh, Sterling is there to regather and almost uh, lost it. Finally fell on it. And there's a bit of a scuffle in there as Shearer was determined to try and get the ball. He gets a little excited that year at times. The seconds counting down. Scrum forming inside New South Wales territory. Seven seconds. And that's just about it. Here comes the siren. There it is. Queensland are going to do something absolutely miraculous. Lewis puts the kick in the air. Jack can't take it for me. Kenny's back there for it. Kenny has it. Kenny's put it down over his own line. by becoming the first team to make a clean sweep of the State of Origin series. Tonight they've won 18 points to 16 and that was one heck of a game of football tonight, Jack. Well, Roberts too, he showed plenty of character. He had a real tough one there. He sure did. Jumpers being exchanged. Now, after this game of football, the selectors will uh, sit down and select the uh, Australian team and there'll be 26, well there'll be more than that, there'll probably be 30 players out there tonight, absolutely bone weary. The pace has been hectic right from the start, the tackling has at times been ferocious, and they've provided entertainment for uh, the crowd here and for a vast television audience. Well it was a game of pain and bodily miseries, but it's over now, and they're shaking hands, they've forgotten it. Congratulations to all the players for providing that entertainment. Congratulations to New South Wales and their coach Ron Willey. A marvellous effort. 18-16 the score tonight. As the players wearily trudge into the dressing rooms. Like gladiators they trudge back in. There are the statistics of the night. Three tries to New South Wales. Queensland scored four. O'Connor Pierce tunks the try scorers. O'Connor three goals from four attempts. Queensland four tries. So they scored four tries to three. Shearer, Velcher, Kineskew and Kiss. Unfortunately, the goal kicking let them down tonight. Meninga couldn't kick any from three. Kiss missed with both his attempts. So the final score, 18-16. New South Wales create history here at Lang Park tonight. We'll be back with the man of the match and Jack and Mike Gibson in just a minute.